Hey everybody, I hope all is well with you today, no matter what you're going through. At this very moment, I hope that you're still able to smile and keep it pushing. I wanted to make a video today and talk about pruning and bearing fruit. But um, I may have to make parts in this video because this part when it comes to pruning and bearing fruit is about the crushing. Because you go through three different stages. And this stage that I want to talk about right now is the crushing. The part that doesn't feel good. The part that hurts. <laughs> bad. Like bad, y'all. And I know because I have, I myself have been through the crushing stage. Not too long ago not too long ago been crushed i'm still in the process of bearing the fruit but i've went through the crushing stage so i know how it feels and i wanted to talk about that because it's probably someone it could be you that is going through the crushing stage or getting ready to go through the crushing stage and so um like i said it starts off with bearing fruit and pruning comes with bearing fruit and if you don't know the definition of pruning i wrote it down so i can read it to you guys it means to trim by cutting away dead or overgrown branches or stems especially to increase fruitfulness and growth and in the scriptures god tells you that he prunes it was jesus speaking he was saying he prunes every branch that produces fruit so that it will produce more fruit. And he said that if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you want and it will be done for you. My father is glorified by this, that you produce much fruit and prove to be my disciples. So y'all now I'm about to give you real life, a real life example of scenarios when it comes to me. I can even give you things that pertains to myself and what God has taken me through. So, um, I am currently on a 40 day fast myself and during this fast, God has been revealing. I will, when I'm getting done, it, it, I will be done October 4th and probably around that time, I will tell you guys my experience, but a little bit of it is during this time, God has been revealing himself to me, who he is, you know, to me. And, um, I read and I pray, I watch videos during this time and three times in a row i just kept reading like three days in a row it was about bearing fruit bearing fruit bearing fruit to the point where i couldn't even ignore it no more like i said god i was like god why do i keep reading about bearing fruit like why do you keep saying bearing fruit so then i was like i wrote in my prayer journey like teach me and guide me on how to learn more about bread bearing fruit and i was just praying like god help me to bear fruit in the circumstances because i read about the pruning part but i was brushing the pruning part away because it was like what do you have to prune you know from my life like i've already given you my money i've given you my time i gave you my obedience i gave you my relationship really everything i was putting first I was putting you first in everything. I gave you my my purity, my sexual purity. I stopped doing things that the Bible told me not to do. I stopped drinking. I stopped everything, y'all. I just stopped. So it was like, what more? Cause you, what, what, what are you trying to prune for me? Like, what are you trying to prune for me? I put you first in everything. So whatever I have left in my life, you know what I'm saying? It. It don't need to be pruned. That's that's the, so I just ignored it. I didn't pray for that. All I think I was praying for was Lord help me to bear fruit. Help me to to please you and everything that you have in my life. Whether it's my relationship that I have in my life with the person that I'm with or my friends, my job, whatever it is, help me to please you and bear fruit in those moments. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I thought that I was good when it came to the pruning part, but y'all know, people started walking out of my life. People started walking out of my life that I never thought would walk out of my life. 
people started talking, saying things about me that I never even would have thought that you would say about me. That's definitely against my character. Now, if I wasn't walking in the spirit at this time, if I was still walking by the flesh, if I was still responding how I want to respond and not the way that God wanted me to respond, I would understand, you know, people reacting and, and treating me the way that they treat me based off of that. But when I'm walking in the spirit and I'm putting God first and everything, you don't expect people to walk away from you. You don't expect people to start talking about you and, and trying to put down your character. You don't expect that, y'all. So it hurts. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Like the tears that y'all see forming up in my eyes is not compared to what I was doing when it was when I was going through the process. All I could even do was eat, sleep, and pray. Eat, sleep, and pray. I couldn't do even when I wanted to defend my name. The spirit was like, you better not say a word. Don't say a word because I am your defender. So y'all, it was so hard going through that crushing the crushing and even and at the time because i'm praying to bear fruit i'm not expecting these things to happen until in my life i'm not expecting it i'm praying for a good thing god i'm giving you my all i'm giving everything to you so i'm not expecting him to have to clip and, and you know whatever he gotta do i wasn't expecting that y'all until god made it known to me that this is what happens when you start bearing fruit this is what has to happen in order for you to bear more fruit. I have to prune you. I have to I have to take you through the crushing in order for you to produce y'all. If I if I didn't go through the crushing, I wouldn't even be making this video. I wouldn't even be able to I wouldn't even be able to encourage somebody else that when you start going through the pruning stage, when God starts crushing you, know that it is for the good. God is a good good father. God is a good, good father. He is not like your earthly father. You could have had the best earthly father ever, but God is such a good, good father. He knows what's best for you. God is perfect. So anything he do, regard anything he does, regardless if it causes harm or, or whatever it causes to you, trust me, it is for the greater good. It is for him to be able to pull out that word, to be able to pull out that vision that he put inside of you. God put a word inside of you. Like he put a word inside of me and he wouldn't let me. He wouldn't let me hold on to things that was going to cause me to not be able to produce the fruit that he that he saw, that he gave me the potential to produce. So this word is just an encouragement, y'all, that whenever God takes you through this stage, the pruning, the, the crushing is more to it. It's, it's, it's beautiful at the end of all of that. But right now we're staying on the crushing stage. When God takes you through the crushing stage, just embrace it and just know that it's for the good because God knows what's best. God has the best. At the end of the row, at the end of the crushing, at the end of the pruning, you're going to see why God did it. You're going to see why God allowed these people to walk out of your life. You're going to see why God allowed these people to talk about you. You're going to see that. You're going to see why. And y'all at the moment, at the time, I couldn't even say thank you, God, for allowing it because I didn't understand it. But now my prayer is thank you, God. And God, let your will be done. At first I was praying, God, let this come back. Let this Don't let this walk away from me. Now it's like, Lord, let your will be done. Even though it hurt. Even though it hurts so bad, y'all, the crushing period, it, the crushing stage, it hurts so bad. But you have to know, you have to believe, you have to keep the faith and don't give up. Don't backslide. Don't go and start drinking. Don't go and start having sex with people. Don't go and start doing it. Just abide. Remain in God. And you're going to see the fruit that he promised you. You're going to start. You're going to see. You're going to see why he took you through that. 